What is up, FIFA commenters? Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for deciding to watch another video on the channel. You guys are sensational. If you are new around these corners, you know how it goes. Drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and do let me know if you are enjoying your FIFA experience at the moment. Boys, today on the fourth team of Shapeshifter, day one, eSports has released Diego Milito. Diego Alberto Milito. What a sensational player. What a sensational card. Unfortunately, we get the same players throughout each promo, and I would love for eSports to fix that if they want to come up with a little bit more creativity but still this is a legend that we will review boys let's start with where we start this uh player has gotten the nickname uh, by the way el principe which means the prince because of his resemblance to this guy and I, I i don't know i don't know this player but this guy is named anzo francescoli and it was a uruguayan uh mad lad a, a an attacking forward who did sensational apparently for the uruguayan uh national team let me know in the comment section below if you see the resemblance you see let me know if you see that. I do see it, but we move. Um, Milito started his career at Racing Club. That is where he started as a young man, and that is his picture right there. He did 137 appearances, scored 34 goals for racing before he moved to Genoa. And at Genoa, did 59 appearances, 33 goals as well. Then moved on very quickly to Zaragoza from 2005 to 2008. Three years, did 108 uh, appearances, scored 53 goals, and after that was, of course, sent back to Genoa, but most importantly, played for Inter Milan, where he did absolute sensational for the club. 128 appearances, 62 goals for the club, and uh, at the end of his career, retired very much so at a racing club where he started. So a full 360 for an absolute mad lad of a player, for an absolute legend of a player. Now, moving on to the card you see on screen. Boys, I did a little bit of a comparison, and uh, let me tell you, the comparison is the exact same as uh, the one we had for uh, Solskjaer, Ole Solskjaer, the exact same. So you'll see that comparison on screen right there, and it's pretty much this. The cam gets more dribbling, more passing, and more defending. Even though the defending is very low still, the right winger, forget about left wing, but the right winger gets more pace, more shooting, and more physicality. That's how he breaks down. So it's it's the same thing. If you want to use a striker, go ahead with the left uh, with the right winger version. If you're looking for a striker, go with the right winger version. If you're looking for somebody who's going to play more in the midfield that has a little bit more agility, a little bit more dribbling, a little bit more passing to it to itself, you're going to have to have to go with the cab right now. Looking at the cards, six foot tall. That's sensational high low work rates that's still very very good both cards have oh wow the the, the foots are changed that's incredible so uh the right winger has uh, his he's left foot dominant which is very good because he is playing on his he's not playing on his dominant foot side which allows him to cut in and shoot those type of cards are cards that you can use to not just cross but also to shoot if you're going to play him as a right winger but again i i advise you guys to play this right winger version as a striker he's left footed as opposed to his cam version who is right footed both are four star skill four star wing foot that is all good let's move on to the player attributes like i said the cam version does get a little less pace than the uh right striker version so a uh, right wing version so 94 94 that's okay the, the, the shooting, you can go ahead and boost that, that pace though, by the way, if you're going to use Milito. Uh, the shooting on this card is sensational still, even though it's a little less than the right winger. 98 attack positioning, 99 finishing, 95 uh, shot power. Uh, the rest is also pretty good. He can be your penalty free, your penalty taker. The passing on this card is also very good. 97 vision combined with 97 short pass and the 96 long pass. He has a little bit more passing here than his right wing uh, version. Um, next, the the, the the dribbling the dribbling on this card is very good it, it, it's pretty good even though milito is average body type the dribbling is still very good at 94 agility 95 balance 97 reaction 98 ball control 97 dribbling and 96 composure he has more dribbling on the cam version than on the right wing version keep that in mind but he's average body type and he's still going to move pretty well across the pitch because the stats are pretty much very boosted the defending the cam gets a little bit more defending than the right winger uh even though the defending is insignificant 99 hitting accuracy you can 
combine that with the jumping of 90, that is very good. He's going to be a threat in the box very much so. Now, for the uh, the physicality, the uh, Cam gets a little less physicality than the right winger. He gets 94 stamina, 91 strength, and 73 uh aggression that is pretty good as opposed to the right winger who gets 95 a little bit more stamina there 91 strength and 72 aggression boys this card is uh it's a legend of a card uh, i won't say that this is a card that you all need to complete because he's average body type there's a few things that you need to really really need to complete this card but moving on to the player traits he does get the finesse shot which is sensational that helps a lot with the right winger, right? It helps a lot. Like I said, you cut in and you shoot. You cut in and you finesse with that four-star weak foot. He also has power header and team player. Uh, and for the cam, it's the same thing. Finesse shot, power header, uh, a team player. Let's move on very quickly now to the SPC and see what you will need to complete this SPC. It's pretty straightforward. You're going to need a four panels, and those four panels are a little bit high up there. I'm not going to lie. Those four panels are a little bit high up there. The first one is an 83 overall, 70 chemistry, and a very much classic formation, 4 2 3 1 bunch of midfielders, and that should be good. You you also need an Italian and an inter play, an inter Milan player. The next panel is an 85 overall, 65 chemistry, 100 team to play in a 433 second variation, bunch of midfielders, bunch of fours there, and that should be okay. The next one is going to be an 87 overall, 50 chemistry, one Serie A player in a 4411, a bunch of midfielders, two forwards, and some defenders. Finally, you will need an 88 overall, 40 chemistry, one team of the season, a team of the week. 4-4-2 classic formation there. Uh, a bunch of midfielders, some forwards, and some defenders. And you should be good. Boys, this, this card is going to bring you a lot, okay? Let's not... Let's not... Uh, 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 hesitate to say that. This card is going to bring you a lot. He has size he's six foot tall he has physical presence okay he's very very fast i would personally suggest depending again on the position you will play him on if you're playing him as a striker go with the right winger uh, uh option because he has more pace more shooting more physicality if you're going to play him in the midfield which i don't recommend if i was going to complete this SBC, i would use milito as a striker as a pure striker because of that four-star weak foot, because of that four-star uh, uh, skills, because of that insane shooting, that insane pace, that is what I would use. that that is what I would do. I would pick I would pick the right wing version. If you're gonna pick the cam version, of course you can do that. But are you really gonna play Milito as your cam when you have so many more options that are not just more agile? They they move better. They're lower. They're they're shorter, so they have a lower uh, uh, center of gravity, so they can move better across the pitch. Minito's not really the cam you need, but he is the striker you need. Boys, this was your FIFA commenter giving you a review, sensational review on Milito. Here again is the breakdown. Drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and do let me know in the comment section below if you've enjoyed this, and I'll catch you very soon for another review on the channel. Peace out, boys. Peace out.